Leo, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that is relevant to you. There may be messages that resonate. Let the Animal Pool Oracles give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Any jewelry seen, personal reading information will be linked and listed. Jumping right in, Leo. First card out is the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. Could be relevant to you. Could have that in your chart. With the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Three of Wands. Okay, you could be coming up as either the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups. This could be someone you are connected to energetically. Friend, family member, whoever it is for you. It will be different for us all. But there is some sort of waiting. There is some sort of waiting. Queen of Pentacles. What else do we have here? Uh, Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Sun card, there you are, Leo, Major Arcana. Those of you that have just stepped into the um, summer solstice, th this time period could be very important for you. And the Seven of Wands. Lots of Wands in your future energy. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of walking away that either has to happen or has already happened. I am seeing three people here. Obviously, this could be... Um, yeah, this could be three people or this could just be representing different aspects of you or someone else that you might be connected to energetically. Because I see a King of Cups here. He has his focus dead set on this... Um, queen of wands and she's not focused on him at all she seems to be focused on the future focused on her manifestation focused on things that she's trying to create for herself also could be in this queen of pentacles energy someone could be channeling both the queen of wands and queen of pentacles energy this is self-care right this is someone that is very nurturing I do think this is someone perceiving you. Whether it's a water sign or not, it could be a father figure, it could be a brother, it could be a best friend, whoever it is. I do th I do see someone is uh, very, so very much seeing you as not focused on them, very focused on yourself, very focused on taking care of yourself, self-care with that queen of wands. Because I do feel like you sort of have your defenses up to this person. You could have either walked away from this situation with this person. That's why they're sort of perceiving you from the outside. Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to move forward here. If you are not if you are no longer speaking to someone, they would like to move forward. There is a sense of happiness that you bring to this person. And I do get this might be uh, happening in the summer period. Those of you that have just entered the summer solstice, summer my northern hemisphere. I think you are coming up as this queen of pentacles, queen of wands. You're not going to be the one to take any sort of action towards this situation. You very much have your defenses up here. You could even be waiting for this person to sort of take action. They might have been taking a little while, but I do think there is going to be a sort of breaking down, a sort of like no longer can hold out. If there's if this person is holding out from speaking to you, I don't think they'll be able to hold out much longer. They'd like to move forward. They'd like to overcome whatever sort of friction that caused you to walk away in the first place. This could be a job. Ten of Swords again. So something has absolutely ended here. Empress. I think someone is seeing you as um, someone they would like to keep in their life. You do have your defenses up, though. I do see that. And I do get a bit of a silent war going on. Although I don't see any silent cards. If you are speaking to this person, it's very standoffish communication. The communication is very standoffish. They can tell that you got a vibe going on. That you're not too happy with them for whatever reason. Looks like they might be sort of holding themselves back too. Because the King of Cups, he doesn't usually express his emotions too much. Though they're there. But it does tell me that there's it's only a matter of time before someone sort of uh, caves, caves in. Because they, there is a moving forward here. There is a progression that wants to happen. 
For some of you where this is a romantic situation, you could be dealing with someone that is getting out of another thing. And you're not even going to look at this person until they do. Looks like they will. Two tens here might have taken a little bit of a, of a while. But it does look like something is absolutely ending here. Two tens. Ten of swords and the ten of wands. Someone could have been afraid of hurting someone else's feelings. Could be someone they have children with. But the happiness does seem to lie with this Queen of Wands, which I do get is is, is, is you. You're focused on, you know, things you want to create in your life. And your defenses are up. If this is a love situation where you're dealing with someone that's just kind of getting out of something. It does look like they're going to be able... They are, they, there is an ending here. They, it seems like their attention is fully on you. Completely focused on you. If this is a friend that you have not been speaking to they won't be able to not speaking to speak to you for much longer if this is you know a family member seems like you're very much ignoring them and they're very much aware of it so if there's sort of like a who's gonna cave in first it does look like this person's gonna cave in first they want to move past it let's get some oracles and see what they got going on for you leo And you're showing up as your true self. So I do think you are this queen of wands. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon, Pisces. Pisces energy could be important to you. This is also giving me the vibe. It's like um, if you were dealing with someone romantically or in any way, shape, or form of friendship. It's like someone was saying a lot, but they weren't doing much. They weren't backing it up with action. Very slow movement. So you have completely shifted your focus away from this person because this person has shown you that, yeah, they talk a good game, but there's no action. You might have been waiting for this person to do something. So now you've just put your defenses up and it's causing this person to want to kind of kick it into high gear. Not just be not just saying shit, but actually, you know, doing shit. That is for Leo, please. And until then, you're just going to focus on yourself until this person can walk the walk. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. So for some of you, there is something that needs to end. And vulgar, vulgar, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. So you might have felt like you've sort of wasted your time, but that doesn't seem to be the case. There is changes going on sort of behind the scenes is what I'm getting. Might have taken a while, might not, might not be happening as fast as you would like it, but it is happening. Changes are happening in order for this person to sort of be able to focus on you. Because they're focused on you anyways. You seem to more so be focused on yourself. Maybe you're very focused on enjoying your summer. What guidance do we have for Leo, please? Thank you. Ch chances are you might fuck up today. That's fine. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. So there was some sort of glitch in the matrix here. There was some sort of glitch in the matrix that sort of caused you to pull your energy back or not focus on this person. I don't think you're completely closed off to them. You just have your defenses up right now. If they can put their money where their mouth is, then I think you'd be open to it. But until that time, you're not going to be. Leo, please. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is exactly what you've already done. You've put up the barricades very much giving the seven of wands energy. You're like, okay, until you're ready to actually do what you say you're going to do. Bye. You could also be being spiritually protected as well. But I think this is very much you protecting yourself or you have taken back some sort of uh, you know, energy. You're not giving this person as much energy as you were before. All right, Leo, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.